Prince William and Prince Harry's falling out allegedly started way before the latter met Markle. The Duke of Sussex always felt as though he was living in Prince William's shadow that's why he eventually decided to quit the firm. It was Prince Harry's decision to do so, but he needed Markle to support him through it. He doesn't envy the responsibility that comes with being the future King of England, but William's the golden boy and Harry feels like he has a lot to live up to. It was also revealed that Prince Harry avoided talking to Prince William in April even though they stood a few feet away from each other at Prince Philip's funeral. Prince William misses Prince Harry. But he will never say this publicly for fear of more backlash. Prince William mentioning Prince Harry was his way of extending an olive branch at his younger brother. William isn't usually forthcoming with his emotions and almost never talks about Harry these days, so it's touching he was mentioned what is obviously a significant memory of William's about their mother. And if anything will bring those boys back together, it's the memory of Diana and talking openly about all the good times they shared with her. Prince William just wants the entire world to think he's tough. But the truth is, he's been struggling not to have Prince Harry by his side. Ever since he could remember, he's had Harry by his side. Williams found the past three years incredibly difficult. Still, he has made it clear on the few occasions that he speaks to close friends about Harry that he loves his brother and would welcome him back with open arms. Prince William and Prince Harry have reportedly been estranged for years. Even though the brothers reunited for Prince Philip's funeral in April, there was obvious tension between the two. Prince William and Prince Harry do not normally talk about each other anymore, even though they used to be very close. So, when Prince William mentioned Prince Harry during a recent interview, royal fans became convinced that there's hope for the brothers to reconcile. The Duke of Cambridge recounted what it was like listening to Tina Turner's song and singing the lyrics of Simply the Best while he and his brother were in the car with Princess Diana. Prince William said that they would normally sing the song until they were dropped off at school. Kate Middleton's Christmas carol service for the unsung heroes of the COVID has helped reveal royal allegiances, a royal commentator believes. The concert, held at Westminster Abbey in London, saw numerous royals attend to show their support for the Duchess of Cambridge's event. Daniela Elser believes the images of the Windsor cousins show solidarity and where the other royals' allegiances lie with. Photographers captured Kate and Prince William chatting with Princess Eugenie and Mike and Zara Tyndall and what Elser believes shows they more team Cambridge rather than team Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. She wrote, It is hard not to read this outing and the appearance of the Windsor cousins as a declaration of allegiance after a year that has seen the royal house riven by accusations of institutional racism and of a coldly indifferent family more interested in protocol than helping one of their own. The images of William, Kate, Eugenie, Mike and Sarah happily chatting inside the abbey could not be further from the image of the royal house that Harry and Meghan cast via their series of grenade lobbing media appearances over the course of the year. Elser continued by commenting how the times have changed as Prince Harry and Meghan have left for their new life in the U.S. She commented on how the image showed the royals as supportive, loving and shockingly functional at the concert. Elser added that the gesture and a show of solidarity that one would assume Harry and Meghan would not miss, 